have to go to the um, grocery store. <laughs> and we are recording. We are live. One, 78. With Ernesto Azejo. Sexiest man. Whoops. You make me blush, dude. Your sexiest man east of the Mississippi. Probably <laughs> west as well, but... <laughs> It's a bold, that's a bold statement, but I'll take it. Uh, hey, I'll take it. We'll take it. I'll, I'll tell you what. Give it to me. I'll tell you what, bud. Do the sad dad dance. Hey, is that, are you wearing a Mickey Mouse shirt? Yeah, so I'm having on uh, General Spaulding again, who wrote the book about China, Stealth War. And one of the things, you know, about China, how uh, the Im- image of Mickey Mouse is banned in China. Not Mickey Mouse, um, Winnie the Pooh is banned in China. <laughs> Did you ever watch the uh, South Park on it? No, I need to. I've heard about it. I need to. If you have HBO, they're all on HBO. Okay. Okay. I know I need. It but is. Yeah, is you sure. can think Bandit ever since uh, people started saying he looked like uh, Winnie the Pooh. So I'm having on that general again, and I'm going to wear it during that as a second time. So I, I ordered it specifically to do our episode about Xi Jinping. But I got here today, so I threw it on. It's actually a great shirt. <laughs> it, it looks really comfortable, honestly. Very cozy, dude. Extra large. Woo. <laughs> it, looks, it looks really good on you. Good yeah. for you. Oh, stop it, you. Oh, stop it, you. Just compliments <laughs> everywhere. Today. Oh, just it's just a love fest. Oh, both, both, what was it on Tim and Eric? We always the sad dad dance. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you ever watch the the universe one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I do this every night with your son. I'm looking in his world. <laughs> he's exploring mine. It's uh, Dude, last <laughs> night. Last night, me, Cal, and Cal's girlfriend. Watched a bunch of funny videos till like really? 11 p.m. Dude, how's Cal doing? He's good, man. He's right around the corner. He's like five minutes from here right now. What? <laughs> okay. I didn't know that. <laughs> Fuck Cal. We Cal, come on the fucking podcast, asshole. No, come on. I'll make him cool. He will. He will. Oh, come on. It's a, yeah, it's, a, it's, a, it's a long, you got to, it's a massaging. I've been massaging his brain for a couple months. I'll get him. No, come on. He's no, just, full, no football. No football. He just forgets. He was supposed to bring my shoes. He didn't bring my damn shoes, dude. I didn't put my shoes. I left my shoes in Dallas. Then he was, of course, just like, yeah, I'll bring him. And then, of course, he shit on my shoes. He was like, ugly ass shoes. Typical cow. And then I was like, all right. I was like, but seriously, don't forget, dude. And then he fucking forgot. Cal's, Cal's the fucking worst, dude. We, yeah. He, Cal be like, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, man, can, hey, man, can you bring my charger? Yeah, dude, I'll bring it. You show up. Where's my charger? Well, don't fucking blame it on me, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Cal, don't make a mess. Cal would walk no. into my dorm room and leave yeah. five minutes later. And there'd be like three empty cups, a fucking bag of McDonald's, and like yeah, like shoes on my pillow. And I'd be like, "How the fuck? How do you do this so quickly?" Dude, fuck you, dude. I don't, <sighs> I don't know, man. I'll tell you what, though, some water is phenomenal. Yes. Your podcast sponsored by Tommy. Tommy, can you believe it? What? We me officially kick off the NFL in three days. I know. That's what I was just saying with my buddy. Uh, I just had on Jared, uh, Jared Bohannon. I was about to say, yeah. Yeah, my friend from – I was like, wait, you went to Valdosta. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know Jared from, from Josh. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I had – he was – Jared was my second guest ever, and he just came on again. Nice. Episode 2, episode 177. But, yeah, we were talking about – yeah, we were talking about – yeah, NFL's kicking off, college football's kicking off. Are we – are we inching back to normality? Are we inching back to normal life? I mean, like I said, dude, for me over here in, in my neck of the woods in Georgia, it's pretty much all – I mean, really? I have to wear a mask, right? Yeah. But yeah. other than a mask, like, to the grocery store, that's really it. I mean, yeah. I, I it's pretty normal for me. Yeah. I yeah. don't know. I mean, for – you know, I'm going back in the – I'm back in the office. Um, You know, I go out to the bars, and none of the bars that I go to have any sort of – Really? Communication at all? No, dude. I don't care. I guess, yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess the same here in Ocean City. Wear a mask. Everything is still open, though. Yeah. Yeah, I guess all of our. Yeah, actually, yeah, like a million people came from down from New Jersey like two days ago. Yeah. Yeah, dude. So I mean, for for me, it's been fine, honestly. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I mean, it feels like I mean, we finally have college footballs back on. They said it couldn't be done, and it's, and it's being done. It's being done. Never. That's the silver lining in all of this is that what we just took for adv- took for granted as like just life was taken away, and now it's all. I was just talking about how when I lived in the frat house, the the hot water just cut out like the second day I moved in, 
and I just didn't have hot water for a year. Ugh. And it was like nothing. But when I moved, when I transferred to UGA, I, compl- I, like, I forgot about hot water. And I remember taking a hot shower and I was like, oh my God. And it was like, nice. like three weeks every day. It was just like the best. And then of course I got accustomed to it, but yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of like hot water. Are we just things that were taken away? Are we getting those things back that we've had our whole lives? Are they just going to be so sweet? Yeah, that's a good point. And hopefully, hopefully we don't have to go through this again. You know what I mean? We could do it in 21. <laughs> that would be the hope. Yeah. I think, I think, at the, I think every 18, so 1918, 2019 yeah 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 because yeah. i'll be fucking dead and by then they'll need it so uh yeah i'm fine with that i'm fine with kicking it down the road that's one way to look at it they're, they're saying that we're warming the planet and a bunch of bacteria has been frozen in the arctic like it's gonna come out because oh it's frozen. god damn and we have no like def- defense for anything isn't isn't that like the isn't that like not really it's kind of not really at all actually kingsman it's like, why is the world heating up? And it's because Earth, because humans are a virus. And so, like, your body jacks up its temperature to destroy all the proteins and pathogens and shit. That's what a fever is. Is the Earth just getting hot to kill us off? Are we a, are we a virus? Hey, maybe. That's a, not a bad theory. I've heard that before. Yeah. And I, I dig it a lot. Yeah, I don't... If you really yeah. think about it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, the Earth Did is... You a- see, we haven't talked since this last time. So in this sort of topic of existentialism, I guess, mm-hmm. did you see the articles of the New York Times? There were two or three articles they came out with about UFOs and aliens and stuff like that. I mean, did you, have you heard about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got in touch with the author of one of them. I tried did to you? get her on here, yeah. She, she's also author. She's a co-author of the big one in the New York Times. Her name is Leslie Kane, K-E-A-N. And she wrote a book called UFOs, Generals, and Military Officials. Dude. I reached, yeah. She's not going to, she's not doing the podcast. But yeah, it's. Why? You should try. You should keep trying. I'm going to try. It's a slow process. Slow process. I know, yeah. Dude, she, or, yeah, so you know what I'm talking about. So basically, Harry Reid, former, you know, Senate Majority Leader was like, yeah, this is legit. The U.S. government has in its possession, like. Wait. Ships, basically. I didn't hear that. Yeah, dude. They're basically saying that the U.S. government oh, hey, yeah. has, Something has programmed the world. to study, right? To study, obviously, well, had those. all this phenomenon and all this stuff. And then they also says that, yes, so we have craft that's not from this planet. We have it. We, like, the, it's in the yeah, U.S. How government. is that not burning down the internet? That's what I'm saying, dude. Me and my buddy Trey talked about that. We're like, not only that, but they basically confirmed the existence of... yeah. And they said we a, have they call them like out of world ships or something because they're like we know they're not human but they're yeah, yeah, definitely yeah. here craft not of this world right dude it, it like it that's, basically confirmed that your 2020 aliens are real without that yeah and, and, and in true 2020 fashion that's not even the, the big thing have you have you heard of do you know bob lazar is i fucking love bob lazar yes ernie ernie i i am not i it's it's hard for me to talk about UFOs because I am not unbiased. I'm just like, it's all real. I want it to be real. Give me a fraction of a shred of truth. And I'm like, there we go. It's real. No, but it is. That's what I'm saying, man. It is though. And it's it's yeah. insane. I get, I mean, these things were confirmed. I, I mean, yeah. have, yeah. That was in the New York Times. The U.S. government has uh, recovered crafts not of this world. And that's what I'm saying, dude. Oh, and that also, that? that also gives credence to Bob Lazar. Absolutely. Who said he had studied this? Absolutely did. Yeah, he said that they did back in eighty nine. Yeah, and they yeah. ever called him a kook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm for it, dude. I'm so for the it. The only right. thing I get scared about, the only thing that fucks with me, if these beings want to make contact, and you know they will make contact, but that means they're that means they're smarter than us. If they came here, absolutely. It means they're way smaller. We're nowhere near that. So that really tells you one of two things. Really one thing. If they really wanted to fuck us, they could fuck us. And we're fucked. And they probably already would have. And they probably already would have. You're probably right by now. Yeah. If you're if you're a couple lions and, we're, and you're like, have you heard of the humans? Dude, what if uh, the Bible and all religions is just the aliens coming back to fuck us? Oh, Jesus. The end of times, and it's just like all these aliens just like, oh, we're What if crazy. that's what the flood is? What if that's what the great flood is? Is every 50,000 years aliens? The, the, you know, the, the, there's a, I've, I've read of a few things that are very interesting in this field where 
and I'm sure it's an ethical dilemma, but I, I am sure we will do it one day if we have the capacity to do it. I've read the story of what if, or, you know, the theory of what if this is created all by aliens mm. to basically just reenact a universe or a planet or something. What do you mean? Just to see how it goes and to just tinker with no, the, just Just to watch, yeah. 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 Well, I mean, shit, why do we, I mean, we have zoos, but even like less right. than that. What do we because do? Dude, we'll do that one day. It only makes sense. Yeah. We set up tripods in, in the woods. We have yeah. things that motion activated game cameras yeah. and labs. Think about it. You're going to tell me if the human, if the human race one day can create universes to that scale, you think they wouldn't do it and test it? Yeah. Give me a break. We already, we create video games and we go in and we tinker. One person is allowed to go in and play. The rest is all NPCs. Why? Yeah, it's fun. Maybe it's just fun. Maybe once you've reached that level of technology, your new level of fun is. Let's well, play you, can, you can directly test your theories. Exactly. About not only yeah, not only that. In reality, I mean, let's see our hypotheses. We think that this happens. I mean, right now we're looking back at apes, right? And they think that apes are entering. The, or some apes they think are entering the Stone Age. They think they're just yeah. entering the Stone Age, and we're watching and going, "Oh, cool! Oh, cool!" Why isn't someone watching us and going, hey, they're about to enter the space age. They, they, they started. They started. They went oh, to the moon. Oh, they came, they back. came off the planet. Oh, they did it. They went to the moon. They came back. You know? Yeah. They put their foot They put their feet in the water, and then they're like, okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. And they ran back. 60 years passed, and now they're like, hey, let's try the – let's go to Mars. You know, what, you, know what's, you know what's wild to me, dude, also? What? If you look – dinosaurs died, what, 60 million years ago? 65 million, yeah. Yeah, it's 69. So if you go to a star that's 69 light million years away and you look back, you would see the dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah. What that means, dude, the implications for that... It means you're not seeing anything when you look up at the night sky. You're no, it means it's insane. No, it means that, it means that the dinosaurs, are, it, in someone's point of view, are still alive, dude. Yeah, well, that's what I mean. But they're not. Yeah, when you look right? at the night sky, you're not seeing anything that's real. You're seeing every, right. everything's dead. So like, yeah. But, but, no, but tell me, what does that mean? I mean, say, think about it for a second. Yeah, okay. If you were to take being a star 65 million years, 69 million years away, you look back, you observe the planet, you look and you see dinosaurs, but they're no longer alive, dude. What yeah. the fuck does that mean? I if know. another species somewhere else can test it, measure it. Yeah. But That's I true. can't, and I'm here where they're supposed to be. It's, uh, yeah. It's, it's the weirdest. What the fuck does that mean, dude? It's the, yeah. It's the weirdest. It's like throwing a firecracker. It's like seeing a firecracker go off and then the boom happens a second later, but the thing's no longer there. That's what's happening. They're looking, they're like, oh, it's the dinosaurs. But meanwhile, it's 2020 and it's college football. We're these weird apes that stand up straight, but everyone, they're looking, they're like, look at that 10 ton monster covered in leather and spikes. And we're like, what are you talking about? And then we're, we're looking up at the night sky. Who's to say every star in the night sky didn't blow up at the same time? But it just happened a thousand years ago. Right. We're just, we're just like, we're still just looking at th something that doesn't exist anymore. It's not That's what I'm saying, dude. What does that mean? That fucking it's freaks a, me out. Yeah, it's like a weird, real, it's like a real time fossil. Yeah, it's like it's if you think about fossil. it, right? It's yeah. like, what, but what does that mean about reality, dude? That's, it's reality just, is clearly subjective. Yeah, it's clearly relative. We're in your own body. Relative. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it always seems like some things are like permanent. You're like, oh, time. And right. it's like, no, you go far enough away. You go to the right distance right now, and you're watching George Washington nail some bitch. Yeah, dude. If you just get it right. That's what I'm watch, saying. What the fuck watch, does that mean, dude? Yeah. If you're That's 20, sketch. 20 year, if you're 20 light years out right now, this Friday, you could watch the plane sitting in the Twin Towers. And you'd be like, oh, yeah. my God. Nope. But that's you could watch the flash over Hiroshima. But dude, what does that mean? That's what I'm saying, Tommy. Yeah, if you no, can no, no, live yeah. an, an event or rewatch it like that, right? What does that mean about who we are and our reality and us? Yeah, yeah. And but how valuable we are seeing you in real time, right? I mean, and we know that I'm actually seeing you in the past by a put a right. trillionth of a trillionth of a second. Right. But right. yeah, how does that how does that get extrapolated? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, you see red, I see red. You see white, I see white. But how do I know subjectively that your white is white? Like, we're right. the same thing. But how do I not know in your mind you see what I see is this? 
and you see this as I see that. I've always thought about that. Like, we both say the sky is blue, but until I can get in your brain, your blue might be my like highlight or green. Dude, and that's why, and that's why beauty is so subjective, right? Yeah, yeah. For example, she's so sexy. What are you talking about, dude? Because it depends on how you see someone, what you like, what you don't like, how you experience it. You you know what I mean? What if we like interpret, like you know, like there are like sounds that dogs Mm -hmm. can hear that we can't hear. Like we know there's like infrared, right? Thermal, all shit that we don't detect. What if we detect like lovers and potential partners differently? Like what if we're giving, I mean, right now we know Neuralink is using like brainwaves. What if like when I see a girl and I'm like, oh my God, she's so hot. And you're like, what the fuck? But it's actually because she's giving off some brainwave that like to me is fitting perfectly like a key. And, a yeah. and I'm just like, oh, you know, so she like unlocked my heart. But to you, it's not the right one. I have a square, she has a square, but you have a circle. Right. Like, Dude, that bitch is busted. And I'm like, what are you talking about? But we like, we're actually not seeing the same person. Right. Like maybe the same objective beauties, you know, like a high cheekbone or big titties or something. But like what I am seeing is I'm seeing it differently than you. I'm like, her face is perfect. And you're like, no, I'm no, I'm seeing some hunchback of Notre Dame bitch. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And then you see a girl, you're like, there's my rose. And I'm like, dude, she looks like a hobo. But reality, we're up. We're both seeing beauty. It's wild, dude. Maybe it's crazy. You, but yeah, that stuff about the universe, man, just uh, <sighs> crazy stuff to think about because it really just means like what – it really just makes you think like the hell does this all mean, right? It like, start, 2020 is getting so goofy. It almost starts to feel a little like Inception. I'm like, where's the totem? Am I dreaming? Right. Like what? A Kobe? Okay, man, I can't believe Kobe died. COVID. And it's like, ooh. And then it's like riots. You're like a little weirder. And that's like aliens. You're like – hold on you know hold on just like inception do you remember how you got here do you remember how you got yeah i was born and but what happened before that i don't remember it's starting to get a little hairy dude <laughs> i love inception by the way yeah it's such fantastic. a good movie fantastic such a great movie i love it. just trying to get my little cat to i remember showing you my cat no oh. dude there's huh? this cat hanging outside the liquor store this little kitty and I want to take it. But she Dude, really you should take me. it. I keep trying to, but she runs away from me. Oh, let me... Uh, yeah, go get her. Grab, I want you to see my cat. Give me two seconds. Hey, go get her. Ernesto Azejo is my buddy, and we're talking about aliens. Aliens. I think I had her here before. I just want you to see how big she is. Look how big she is, dude. Holy shit, dude. Holy fuck. <laughs> right? Jesus. What a tank. Here, hold on. Hold on. Keep holding her up. I'm going to take a screenshot. Look at that cat. Hey, <laughs> take another one. I'm smiling. Here, okay. Hold on. Three, two, one. Jeez. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude, dude she's what mad. a fucking queen. I love her. Right? I love her. She's a main coon, dude. I love her. So these are like big ass cats. I want one. That's what I want. I want. She's massive. I know, bro. She's a beautiful girl. I want a big ass cat, dude. That's what I want. I need a podcast cat. Yeah, dude. Imagine you had a cat like this just chilling in the background. Dude, dude. As soon as I get enough money to move out, that's what I'm going to get. I'm going to get a big ass fucking cat who's just going to be chilling on the podcast. This cat's expensive, but it's worth every penny. I will. I, it's worth it. Some things you spend your. Oh, she's wagging her tail. I know. You heard it. It's worth it. She heard it. Oh, what is it? Oh my God, she's. Her name is Stevie after Stevie Nicks. Oh, I, I love it. No, she's out. All right, you can go now. Oh. Yeah, and now I got oh. hair everywhere. Who cares? It's worth it. Dude, she's massive, though, isn't she? Yeah. What kind of cat is it? She's a Maine Coon. M A I N E. Like the state? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to fucking look that up. Maine Coon. They're the biggest cats in the. Like, of, I think they're the second biggest cats. Of all, like, domestic cats, and, yeah, dude. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're massive yeah. cats. Yeah, when I, when the podcast gets bigger and I get some money to move out. Yes. That's... But, they're like, but they're like a slinky, dude. They always stay, like, you know, they look smarter than they are, and then when you fucking grab them, they're just like, and you're like, holy shit. Awesome. That's, yeah, dude, that's, I've, I've thought about that for a while, I'm like, like I want to get a cat when I when I move out. Like, it's 
I miss having my cats, man, with my ex girlfriend. But we had two cats, and I fucking love them. I, so I, I always, cats. Yeah. I always thought I hated cats. Like my whole Dude, life, like cats. I was are the same way. And then bro. You get one, and you're like, okay, this one's an exception. And then after like a month, you're like, I adore this animal. It's apples and oranges. I don't think they're better than dogs. I don't think they're worse. They're, oh, different. they're so different. different. Different experiences. Dude, they're so much more chill than dogs. They're so relaxed. Dogs always need you. You know, dogs, you know, know. The, dogs are a big responsibility. Are you sure you're ready? You get a cat and it's like, yeah, man, I mean, I don't know. Put some food out. You're good. <laughs> you can die. Little it, it won't care. It'll just fucking start eating you. Whatever. Yeah, dude. Stevie's fucking cool. So yeah, I used to I used to be the same way. I used to hate cats, or I thought I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got her with my ex. I actually got her for my ex. Yeah. And I fell in love with this cat, dude. I love that. I was like, I'm sorry, but I bought, I paid for it, so I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, man, touche. It, dude, I swear to God, man, what my our cat Hobbs, that cat was like psychic. Like whenever I like that cat knew when I was like depressed, it would come like scratching at my door. It would like really? lay on me and like not get off of me. It would just purr, and it would never do it except on like the worst days. That's crazy. It's not like it's not like well, you know, were you depressed every day? No, it'd be like a random day, like every like six weeks. Or so. This cat, I swear to God, would find me like a magnet. It would just. Yeah. My girlfriend at the time was like, "What the fuck is going on?" And it was like, you know, I have a cheery day, and then then it was just back to Hobbs. It was you know a cat. Come here and runs away. And yeah. then I have a day where I'd be like holed up in my room, and she would be like, wake up and two, like two in the morning. She'd be like, my, my the cat is just trying to, what, like, and she would come over my door and, bam, right on me, <laughs> like a magnet, man. It was like a, it was like a coat for like my heart. Hobbs That's wild. Oh my god. Yeah. No, it's crazy how much you like you love those little animals. You know what I mean, dude? It's, it's insane. Fucking, I, I've had Dale Comstock, the Delta Force guy, I've had in here several times. He's just yeah. a fucking assassin. He trains dogs. He lives in Bali, and he trains dogs for like the government, drug dogs. All the, all the hotel chains, the cruise ships that go out there, they all use drug dogs, explosive dogs. And he yeah, he trains all of them, raises them. So Dale, like the hardest motherfucker in the world. I texted Dale when I had to put down my dog in May. I was like, Dale, I'm a wreck. I'm dying. You know, Dale, someone that's seen war at like a level no one else has. But even Dale told me he was like, Oh my god. Like putting a dog down is like harder than anything I've experienced in war. He was like, I fucking hate putting dogs. He's like, it's terrible. And I'm like, thank you. It makes me feel better awful. than I think that. It's yeah. Awful. Yeah, it's true. That's a good point. But dude, that's... Well, I always love the idea. Cats are actually the, the apex of society. And we just, the, we, we think that there are pets, but the reality is, is like, they are gods. And they're like, we have these humans. They go to work all day. They get all the, the money we, they need so that they can come home, they leave the lights on, they have couches, they have food and water for us, we get our shots. What do we do? We bathe in the sun, chase shit, play with lasers. Two in the morning, I want to get up and run around, fuck it, that's what I'm going to do. And this asshole is going to get up at 6 a.m. and go to work and go get that cheddar because I need some new toys. Yeah. Is that not a god? I mean, right? You know, you know that's the equivalent of like having like, the slaves with the big palms. How and, fucking, how nice is that? Yeah, you just. I wish I had that. I wish I had that life. Exactly, lay in the sun, just. And not only that, it's not even like slaves. We're like, we hate it. We come home, and then we're like, oh, we're so happy to see them. It is like, I mean, the, didn't the Egyptians uh, worship cats? Isn't that they did, right? Yeah, they had them everywhere. They had like cats like everywhere. Yeah, think of all those weird st- the Sphinx. Not really. I don't know what the fuck the Sphinx is, but like, our cats, our cats, are aliens. Are the UFOs coming? What if they control all the UFOs? Cats come off the UFOs. How fucking funny would that be? Dude? That would be the best. That would be the Stevie, best. Are you a fucking alien? Big ass cat? She ain't gonna tell you, man. She's playing cool. She'd kill me, dude. She'd kill me, probably. She really wanted to. Probably, yeah. Yeah. UFOs come down to the White House lawn and just a bunch of cats come off. I mean, the cat pictures, every meme, always cat tacks, cat memes, cat. It's always cats. We think we're on top. It's the cats. Dude, cats are awesome. Yeah. I don't know why I ever hated them, dude. Now I tell everyone, I'm like, dude, you got to like, you got to. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I fucking despise. What just happened? Are you Ernie? Yeah, I can hear you. I just got a. Yeah, I just got a fucking phone. Why do I get phone calls on my laptop? I thought I just shut. Uh, because your phone's connected to your laptop. That's why. Well, you know what? I don't want it. 
Well, you know what? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, you yeah, yeah, just, yeah, yeah, just, you just, well, you just look at it. You just got to take it, bud, all right? That's what's part of growing up is you get phone calls on your laptop. That's one of his we were watching last night do that. Would you just look at it? <laughs> just look at it. Do you ever watch Eric Andre? I don't know. I don't think, I don't think I know who that is. I didn't start watching him until like a week ago, and even then it's YouTube clips. I'm not, but it, Eric Andre? Eric hey. Andre. He's the the let me in meme. You know, the shoots the guy in the chair. Why would you do this? That meme. If you look him up, you'll fucking recognize him. Okay. It's like Tim and Eric quality. He's, yeah. <laughs> I watch all of his, I always think of you and Cal when I watch them. They're like 60 <laughs> fucking videos. They're like that perfect, just like let your IQ drop into the single digits and watch. Yep. That would, <laughs> yep. yeah, I feel when I watch Eric Andre. Yeah, that's the, yeah. that's the, uh, you need that. You just got to have them. That's some great, great humor, man. Yeah. You just got to let your brain just turn. To it's fire. never a bad thing. Just, exactly. Just let it melt. Yeah. Bro. Just let it melt. The world's on fire. It's like, dude, just take a minute for yourself. I'll tell you what, my world doesn't feel on fire. Now that yeah. it's mine. It's, if I didn't have, if it's maybe this is a fucking, if this isn't a lesson in turning off the TV. If I had no connection to the news, you would not know. You'd be like, why is everyone wearing masks? But aside from that, everyone's cheery. Grocery store, liquor store, Walmart, nothing. Roads are fine. Lights are working. Everyone here where I live is Nails getting fine, delivered. having a good time. Go to Rite Aid, get my meds. Just, just trying to get drunk. Yeah, yeah. Just getting fucked up. Just same hot bitches going in the liquor store. No one's screaming. No one's... It seems like... Yeah. I hope it's like that everywhere. Do you think it's just all? No, no, it's not like that everywhere. Probably. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, I got bit man, by some mosquitoes, and I am. You know, that's one thing I, we need to figure out. We need to figure out how to just destroy these little things before they keep fucking fight a war them. with them. Yeah, I would. I will. If I was president of the United States, I would declare war against all huh? and every mosquito in, on. Around U.S. soil or around the world. Global, oh, effort. global effort. It would be a global campaign. I mean, it's atrocious, dude. Every maybe summer, man. Maybe that's what we can come together as. Is this uh, probably yeah, not, because yeah. some pedo yeah. would fucking freak out. Yeah, we'll fuck them. You know what? We'll, fuck well them. we can't just fuck them, dude. They're, they're we, can't fuck them. we can't fuck them. We can't just I don't want to fuck PETA, all right? You can fuck PETA. Yeah, you can fuck PETA, all right? I don't want to fuck PETA. I have standards, all right? I'm not, I'm not drunk enough. You can't go just go fucking pee. Peter's is that beautiful to me, all right? <laughs> Peter looks know, like you fucking... You objective, and guess what, bitch? Ain't working for me, all right? Yeah, it looks like fucking poopy. Yeah, me, yeah, me and Peter, we're not seeing each other. Asshole. That's right. I'm now I'm Peter's cousin. Grow up, dude. Grow the fuck up, Tommy. Get off my podcast. Tommy, grow up, dude. Dude, I mean, these mosquito bites, man. I'm trying not to scratch them. Just so I'm going to just... Just do this to my fingers to just keep myself from not scratching. Yeah, man. There's huh? nothing greater than giving in and scratching. Dude, I know. It feels so it. good. Just let it go, Ernie. Why? That, like, annoying, like, oh, you're right. Just let it. Yeah. Why? Why? Uh, Who cares? Uh, why does it do this to don't us? Don't try to answer every question. Just sometimes just give in. Just give in, Ernie. Give in. Uh, sometimes it's okay. Dude, it feels so good. Oh, you know, that, like that, like sensation <laughs> feeling. Guilty, you're like, I shouldn't be doing this. It's like, ah, it's like, Why? like that makes no sense, right? So yeah. your body's like, we have this poison in us, and in order, it's a, it's a trick, it, wasn't it? Right? No, because that's poison ivy. Because that's poison ivy trying to get you to spread it, but a mosquito bite doesn't spread. I think it's just because it irritates like the the skin and it just makes it itchy. Yeah, you know, there's some you choose your battles. I think, you know. I try to recycle, uh, you know, I, I try not to have a big carbon footprint and I try to hold the door for people. If I'm going to scratch a mosquito bite, I'm going to sc- choose your battles. Oh, dude, I just hate it, man. <laughs> choose it's your so battles. so obnoxious, man. dude. You know what I mean? Just give in. That's what I'm saying. Like, what a trick. Your body's like, oh, it feels so fucking good when you actually scratch it. Why not just keep scratching it? Right. But if you scratch it, it fucking hurts like shit. Yeah. Hurts? After a while, yeah, like the time hurt. I, mean, I don't think that's. I don't hurt. think that's good. That that might not be good. I think it's just. Like, Listen, I've already gone my whole life. About to be thirty. I'm fine now. Dude, fuck whatever. it. Fuck it. Yeah, I'm thirty, Ernie. Welcome. I know. To the dark side. I'll be thirty next month, man. Welcome to the dark side. Um. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, I'm not. I'm not really worried about it. No, I feel no. Good. Listen, neither of us look thirty, so. Yeah, we both just look. We, I mean, we just look incredible. That's what it is. That's and what if, I, if, if like you don't agree with us, fucking go away. Get out of here. 
That's what I'm saying. It's yeah. like we're like in our young twenties, just a couple, a couple yeah. guys being dudes. Yeah, just a couple of dudes being guys, huh? A couple of guys. Barack Obama in the background just chilling. And he's like, these boys, uh, don't listen, miss Barry Oak. Listen, listen, listen these, <laughs> don't sleep on Barry Oak. Dude, I had to send you this video. I don't, think, <laughs> I don't think I'll share it with you. It's hysterical. You will love it. It's this video of this guy who does – have you heard that song? I actually hadn't heard it before this, but it's like it's called What's Popping. It's like, what's popping? Brand new whip just hopped in. I don't know. No, I like it's it already, like, though. Jack Harlow, I don't know. I like it already. But I'm going to send you this video of this guy who does a remix of the song. And he does like Cleveland from Family Guy. He starts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then he does Donald Trump. <laughs> then he does Obama, and like he does them all, dude. And and then like and he is. And at one point he has like Trump and like Obama kind of like going back and forth. So, dude, it is his. I'm gonna send. I'm gonna text you right now. Okay. It okay. Is, okay. Have you? Seen, you ever seen the dude right? doing the Family Guy voices singing uh, "Look at Me Now" by Chris Brown? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. It's really funny, actually. Hold on. All right. So well, whenever we're done, you're gonna watch this. I will. I will. I can't watch it. You're gonna, I'm telling you, you're gonna. Yeah. You're gonna want it. I can't you're get. Gonna, my, I can't get my channel yanked. I can't. Play you're it. literally gonna be like, oh my god, it's so exciting. You're gonna be like, oh my god, Ernie, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'll fuck Peter for you. Yes, you'll I'm start. Like, yes, you will fuck Peter. Drunk and fuck Peter. Exactly what you will do. <laughs> Ernie, what? What uh, I was just talking to Jared about this. Are UFOs? Is that the is that the is that the crescendo of twenty twenty? Is it UFOs? Because I mean, how else could the year end? It's like this is the what big. What do you mean? We have an election coming up. That's how it could, I tell you how it could end. That's okay? November. That's November. Listen, listen, listen to me. Here's a month and a half here, after that. Here's how it could end. It ends with an election where on election day it looks like Trump has uh, won a lot of gains, but. A lot of people have mailed in their ballots, and so that takes maybe a couple of days, uh, maybe weeks, uh, to actually ball. count. And ball. so I could easily see a scenario where Trump declares himself the victor, Ooh. although they're not done counting yet. Ooh. He goes, "Oh, I won," and then when the vote starts coming around, and he realizes he's not winning, and then he goes, "No we'll cancel the count." See, it's all fraud. It's fake. That will. That, there's like a ninety percent chance. And that's how 2020 would end. And that's the most 2020 end. And that will be civil war. Just straight okay. up. That, that would, would that really would be if he actually did that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's when the curtains drop. That's yeah. because, just, like, because some curtain. idiot out there will go. So this was stolen. They're going to go start killing people. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I would. Maybe not civil war, but yeah. But yeah. Yeah. No, that wouldn't be good. That would be a historical thing. That'd be like Dewey beats Truman, right? Yeah. So it like, would be that. It would be that. That's how it could end. Yeah. But it'll be a, a very appropriate way way for the. Uh, Thinking. The year to end, but even that's November, man. I'm I'm thinking. Yeah, well, the the civil war that follows it is how you end the year. Okay, okay. <laughs> or <laughs> no, so, oh, okay, oh, of course. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. That makes sense. Like, oh yeah, you're right. The mass executions. There we go. It's um, no man. There's no other way. I think if there's ever a time when UFOs, because right now, even though it's still like. It's definitely like it's you know shakes you to your balls. That's not even a saying. You know what I think? You know what I think, Tommy? I Sorry. think I think people already think aliens are real. I think we're at that point now in our does, yeah. most people were like, yeah, it makes sense. You know, I think what's really going to shock people for real is when we find life. Now that doesn't mean like a fucking a talking, you know, smart alien. You know, a multi-celled thing. organism, right? Whether it's a small fish. In the in the seas of Europa, and one yeah, of the moons of Jupiter, like a weird turtle or something. Right, a turtle. But even bacteria, subatomic particles. That's life. That's going to be a big fucking deal because once we find that, and if we find that in our own solar system, just in our own solar yeah, system, just in our own. That means that it's everywhere. Uh, yeah, that means it's yeah. It's, that means that it's fucking everywhere. I because think I mean, there's two I spots yeah. in one system, and there are billions of systems. I think I'm yeah hundreds of billions in our own galaxy hundreds right. of trillions of, of right. catalog library uh, not library catalog galaxies there yeah i definitely think like a multi celled yeah single cell would definitely still be big but i think I mean, anything i mean think about it any life that's not from earth yeah 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 
That's crazy to think about. Oh shit! Like that's it wasn't made here. Yeah, it would all. It also depends about contamination because you want to make sure that we didn't bring it. Like, do we crash into Europa with some satellite and then we're like, hey, look, RNA? And it's well, that's like, true. That's true. If that's RNA. the case, then it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be found everywhere, right? You'd think yeah. that if there's a species, it's going to be a ton of them, right? Not just one. Yeah. Especially if it's subatomic. That's it's true. A ton. So, you would expect. Yeah. Yeah. Unless it's early in its, I mean, maybe not. I don't know. I mean, I. I what? Can see it. But you're right. I could definitely see it being a, a worry, a concern. What? Yeah. What if it's some weird? What if it's like not worth? Like, what at all? I like your haircut, man. What if? It's like, <laughs> what if it's like not? I obviously haven't even gotten out of bed today, dude. I think it's beautiful. If what if it's what if it's something like in the sun? What if it's like an animal on the sun? Some weird fucking like. But why know, not, dude? Like animal. seriously, why yeah. not? Infinite, yeah. I mean, infinite possibility. As long as it's anything right. can fucking happen, dude. Yeah. What I mean, what if the sun exists? Why can't that exist? And is any self-replicating system with ever increasing complexity, right? <laughs> ever, com- ever increasing complexity. It's some ent- entropy-driven, self-replicating thing. Yeah, why not? Some like fucking weird, like I don't know, some like flying thing that somehow exists on like the surface of the. Sun. I mean, dude, it's not that far fetched. We are descendants of dead stars, like quite literally. Yeah, we, I mean, we are. Yeah, we, we're star people. Like right. we, like we came from the center of an exploding. Like that sounds like some B film, like science fiction. Yeah, but it's like we are literally from the core of an exploding. Like our heavy elements, yes. carbon, which we are literally everything has like helium. Yeah, yeah, everything. <laughs> Yeah. Everything in your blood, yeah. I don't know, man. How insane is that, dude? We are literal stardust that several billions of years later has become to somehow come together in a thinking fucking brain and study the very thing that created us. It's like that quote: "Given on, on a long enough timeline, hydrogen will start to wonder where it came from." Right? Because what formed those original stars? Hydrogen. On a long enough timeline, hydrogen will start to wonder where it came from. That's all it really is. It's still Dude. the same. Like typewriter to iPhones, it's still the same timeline. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 the universe. What a concept. You wouldn't you wouldn't want to put it in a if you you wouldn't want to put it in a bowl. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't put a you wouldn't want to put it in a hot dog. It, uh, well, you got you got uh, you got undiscovered worlds. You got a uh, Til- Tillman's Crest, <laughs> the Big Dipster, <laughs> Big Dipster, Big Dipster. Tillman's oh my Crest. God, dude! Uh, undiscovered worlds. Uh, of course, you got Sector Nine. Uh, <laughs> Those guys are fucking ridiculous, dude. If you rolled it up into like a hot dog. It'd be at least twice as long. I mean, it's, <laughs> it's like a big dark hole. I just want to explore it like a first date. Yeah, dude, that is so funny. Yeah, it just cuts up. It's not like a... <laughs> dude, those guys, man. But seriously, dude, I'm it's some your... crazy stuff to think about. Yeah, I'm in your backyard looking for coons. <laughs> <laughs> Teaching your son about... I shine a light into his... Dude, I mean, but... No, before right, I mean, Get out of my yard. Yeah, get out of my yard. <laughs> How are you doing this with my son? It's, uh... It's, it's wild to me. It, it really is. It's um, it just makes you think, you know. Yeah. Like it's just like, dude. Like, at the end of the day, you just want to know the answers, right? Like, why? Yeah. Is happening? How did it happen? Do you ever just? When yeah. Was there a beginning? Was there a beginning at all? Yeah, what What's before the beginning? Right. You know what? What is the universe expanding into? I suspect it's just a bunch of universes. Yeah, and then what's outside of that? What's outside of the multiverse? Right. Eventually, you have to come to the. Well, what if we're just literally part of some being? We probably are. Why wouldn't we be? I mean, I, to me, that's less crazy than the idea of like. If you think about it, like nothing. you think about like the natural occurrences of the Earth. Yeah. Earthquakes. Yeah. Volcanoes. Yeah. The I mean, wind, tornadoes, hurricanes, Earth seems tsunamis. Like, yeah, Earth seems like one big creature. It seems like it's alive. It absolutely does. Oh yeah, it's got circulatory systems. It's got excretions. Yeah. It's got yeah, it's got its whole biosphere. It's got its pH. It's yeah, it excretes. It grows. It sheds. Yeah. It molts. It changes. Always yeah. rebirthing itself. It has its cycles. It gets sick. It gets clean. 
Yeah. It it's is. kind of sketch, dude. Just yeah, I mean, it. you have some, what, your body's composed of 70 trillion cells. You have something like 100 trillion bacteria in your gut. None of those bacteria are like, oh, yeah, all together we make up Tommy. It's just bacteria. Just, just, they aren't even thinking. We're just going about their thing. But even if they were, it would still be, oh, I'm not part of the gut. I'm, I'm Bill. I, I'm Tommy. I just happen to live in Maryland. I'm not Maryland. I, I live in Maryland. No, you compose, you know, I'm stuck in traffic. No, you are traffic. I, yeah. I live in America. No, you are American. You're part of the system because everyone thinks that they just live in America. No, it creates the whole thing. You know, I, I, I live on planet earth. No, you are You're part of the gut biome. Yeah. No, I'm just Tommy. You know, I'm just Ernie. I, I, I've just got Stevie over here. That's what I'm saying, dude. It's sketch to think about. Yeah. What goes on, man? What goes and the aliens show up, the UFOs show up. Are the UFOs just us from the future? Okay, now don't no, no no because as far as we know, we can't travel back in time. We can only oh, travel yeah. forward. So. Yeah. yeah, I mean now maybe maybe that's a thing. I don't know. I mean we don't know. I think the big thing that we're gonna find out whenever we find it out is gonna to me it's in my limited monkey brain is that I don't think light can be the speed limit. I just Do you think light can what? I don't think light is the cosmic speed limit. You don't think? Maybe not, dude. Maybe it's something else. It seems so certain that it is, but just like we were so certain that the sun revolved around us and that the earth was flat, it's just these like accepted paradigms. But to be fair, but to be fair, we've proven at least that some of the theories of light and the speed of light, we've proven, and this is why we theoretically know that we can go to the future, not the past. Mm -hmm. We've proven that we, if you do speed a particle up to 99.9% .9 of the speed of light, that time does slow down for them. Like, we know that. Well, we know the So we know that's, that's a property of, the, of our universe, right? Now, why that is... That's the relativity, yeah. Right, but why that is, I mean, right, we think we know we have theories, but we don't really know for real. Sure. But, like, so maybe you're right, but to me that's something so fundamental because we've proven it. And that's why we think uh, if we can build something big enough and you throw it at 99.9% .9 speed of light, that it will slow down. Because we can do it at the subatomic level. Sure. We just can't do it at our level. Or yet. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, yeah that's what I mean. Yet. It's, I mean, we know astronauts age slower by like millions of a second after yeah. like a year-long stint in orbit. Yeah. I just, to me, it just seems so, like, the, if, like it's the idea that, when we look at aliens, we're like, those can't be aliens because light is the speed limit, and how could they get here? Yeah. To me, that's just a case of, like, we're taking our model and saying our model is definitive and that this information is voiding our model. That's the exact opposite of how you're supposed to do science. You know? We're not yeah, no, you're not wrong. Yeah, this is breaking our model because we know the sun goes around the Earth. Maybe our model is not right. So it's like, those can't be aliens because we, or, we know light's the speed limit, and you get... Well, it's starting to kind of look like maybe our model's not right. I have no idea what it could possibly be. But I think time and again, anytime we've ever been arrogant enough to say, you know, with certainty that this is the way it is, it just ends up being so, not even wrong, but like laughably wrong. Dude, you're not, you're not, oh, you hear my dog bitching? Jack. 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 Come here, buddy. Jack, welcome to the podcast. What do you have to say? Yeah, someone said hi to Jack. Jack's a sweet. Hey, Jack. Sweet boy. Jack. Oh, Jack. Jack. He is almost six years old. Really? He's getting old. Dude, I, I put down Oscar this year. He was 17 and a half. Oh, man. <laughs> what, kind of, what, what? what kind of dog? What poodle? He was born in, He was born on Christmas 2002. Crazy, dude. Well, I remember the vet the, when the vet put him down. He told you know, like I'm sorry for your loss, but he goes just he goes you got you got two dogs out of that. He goes just put it in perspective, like you know definitely be sad, but I mean just he's like most people don't get that, and I was like you're yeah. right. No, no, he, goes, that's, that's... he goes if you got the dog right now, it would die when you're 47, and I was like that's insane. That is wild, dude. I've always told it, but I remember holding Oscar watching TV as we were bombing Baghdad in 2003, starting the war in Iraq. Cole and Powell up there talking. That same dog I had this year. <laughs> yeah. A little fucking, yeah, a little fucking crazy. Yeah, dude, my, cat, my cat's only two. Those cats live till they're like, apparently like 17. That's awesome. 
So by the time that she dies, I'm going to be like 45 years old, dude. Yeah. That's awesome. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. Like that literally means that my kids are going to grow up with this cat. Yeah. 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 I, I'm definitely going to, that's what I need. I want to get, the, I want to get like the longest living cat. That's what I want. I don't know if dude, I can. Cool, bro. You got to get a Maine Coon, dude. We can gonna, have a you're going to see it on the podcast one day. You're just going to see this big old fucking fluffinator walking around. Dude. You're gonna she some of those pictures. I'm actually excited for that. I don't, I don't have any pictures of her like that. Like, oh, well, I'll send them to you. I'll send them to you. I'm gonna make yeah. it the thumbnail of the, of the screen. Like yeah, you know. Yeah, man. I don't know, Ernie. I have no idea. 13 minutes left till I let you go. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I think it's all interesting. I, th- I think. I think the 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 next biggest thing we should be doing in, in space exploration should be going to those places of where we know now that there is water, right? So Europa is one of them, Titan is one of them, the moons of Jupiter, we know there's water. Doesn't Mars have, doesn't it have like- Yeah, yeah, Mars does have uh, frozen, but it's frozen, right? We know that in in Titan and in Europa, there's liquid water, like today. Okay. Which is fucking crazy. Yeah. Because if you think about it, and it's under 60 kilometers of water, or ice, so it's- it's, I know, it's insane. Our deepest ocean here is Mar- Challenger Deep, which is an area in the Marianas Trench, which is an area, I believe, in the Pacific or Indian Ocean. It's five miles, 25,000 feet. No, no, sorry, I think it's seven miles. No, I think it's five. Think, well, regardless, Europa is apparently like 10 times yeah. deeper. Yeah, dude. Imagine if we go down there and we see some massive ass. <laughs> some fucking big octopus. That's like... <laughs> And it just it just speaks through you to, like telepathically. It's like go back to your ship. Yeah. What if we go down there? And there's like a whole civilization. And no, like it just, just talk, it t- talks to the the astronaut telepathically. And it goes go back up to your mothership, beam uh, and, you know, and call back to NASA and say you found nothing. Okay. Get the fuck out before get we unleash. Fuck. It's literally like they're Clint Eastwood. It's like, it's like get out of here, dude. No, but I mean. That's what we should be doing, man. We should know d- definitively yeah. if in our own universe, in our own solar system, what's the closest, you know, there is a fucking anything, dude. And yeah. then the second thing we should be doing is we should be fucking figuring out how to make this shit cheaper so we can fly further, so we can go further. We got Elon and Bezos working on that imperfectly. But yeah. It's going. But doing it nonetheless. Yeah, doing it nonetheless. Not perfect, but I mean, when has anything been... When has anything been perfect? When have we ever done anything perfectly? We're gonna throw a thousand ships at the horizon. One of them will get to the new world. Yeah. Now the um now the um now obviously the private industry is taking, you know, initiative in this. Really, exactly. the yeah. Well, I mean, it, it, I was talking about that to my dad last night. It's you, you have to dangle a carrot, or it's not going to get done. Like we can have these massive and albeit beautiful initiatives, like the Apollo program. But for a long-term thing, you have to dangle a carrot. And right now, there is a carrot, and it's, it's asteroid mining. Trillions of dollars, of platinum and gold, helium. It's, say, the gold. first trillion. Do we already have a trillion there? Nope. We have Jeff Bezos, who's at last week broke $200 billion. That's right. They say the first trillionaires will come from, as you're saying, mining. Asteroids. Some there's some estimates say that an estimates. I mean, what does an estimate mean? It, well, study says study says fucking anything. So study. let me ask you this: We were talking about this yesterday with Cal. Actually, yeah. would you go to space if absolutely, you could? Absolutely not. No. Not even gonna try to, because I'm a pussy. Dude, I mean, I am too. But are you kidding me? I, no, no. I will gladly. I will. I, I would donate to it. I would do a GoFundMe. I would help someone. I would love to, to GoPro it and watch it. I'm not fucking leaving the ground, man. I'm a bitch. How many people? I'm, how, I'm many, gonna own how many it. billion gonna own people? She's gonna own it. I'm uh-huh. a bitch. How many people have lived? Hundred billion. In the entire humanity, hundred billion. I think it's about hundred billion. Yeah. Okay. One hundred. Are you sure that's a big number? Yeah, I know it's a huge number. It's. They think it's about hundred billion total. Homo sapiens, modern man today. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Okay, even well, it boasts my it boasts my argument really even more. Yeah. So, one hundred billion people, really two hundred thousand years of modern humans, right? Mm-hmm. 
And you can be one of maybe, maybe 150 people that have ever even left the planet. You wouldn't want to be part of that history. Nope. <laughs> you can look back at your grandkids and say, I am the point zero zero yeah, yeah. zero one yeah. of humanity. I mean, I guess you never know I've until I've ever been able to look back on the planet that you lived in and said, holy fucking shit. That to me would be a transformational, profound, profoundly I mean, transformational moment. Well, there is, it's called the overview effect. It's an actual psychological effect that happens to astronauts the first time they go up. The overview effect, capital O, overview effect. It says what? It's apparently a feeling of total oneness with creation, a total dissolution of politics and borders, not because you know, you're literally looking down and seeing no such thing as borders, but it's Apparently, it's like an overwhelming, like almost tear-inducing, like across the board, Chinese, Russian, American. You go up and you look at the, apparently it's, I mean, it is like a step above, like a psychedelic experience. It's called the over. That's what I'm effect. saying, dude. Mm-hmm. And it's even greater the farther away you go. The biggest effect was on the astronauts on the, on the, on the moon looking back at Earth. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, for that... Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you do. Maybe, yeah. Maybe you got to take it. I don't want to be the first space tourist, though. I'll be the 10th. I'd go Dude, up and... I'll be the first. I don't give a shit. Let's go. Tank. I'll give a fuck. Listen, if you die, you don't feel that shit. You'll die, dude. What are you talking about? You burn up in orbit. Yeah, but you'll burn quick. I mean, you're not, you're not going to burn uh, for fucking like 10, 15 minutes. Uh, you know what? Dude, if you, you <laughs> burn up in orbit, you're going up to space, you're going to die quickly, bro. You're yeah. going to be sitting around like for 30 minutes dying. Yeah, that's right. It's gonna. Ha- it, you're not probably not even gonna know it happened. That's that's what I'm saying. Go that's out, out, go. Okay. I'll go if you're next to me. Okay, I'll hold right. your goddamn hand. Let's go. Yeah, fucking, let's do it. Cal has to we'll come. Bring our, we'll bring our main coons. We'll bring our main coons. Cal's coming, and the main coons we can have. Play with a, them in space. And the main coons have <laughs> laser pointer. Can they have little helmets on too? Dude, that'd be cute as fuck. That would be amazing. You know what? I would do that for the meme quality. So cute. Playing with cats in space. See? See? Now, now we're going to space. Okay. Now, okay. if only we could fund it. Now we got to fund it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll, let the, we'll fucking let the cap. We'll let the venture capitalists trillion. Uh, we, I hope that within, you know, it's funny, Cal and Taylor both said they wouldn't go either. And. But after what like, you said, I, 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 I forgot go. about the overview effect. I would. Yeah, I would do it for that. You know what I mean, dude? Yeah, I would almost like to wait till later in my life in case I do die. Like, I'd really like to see the podcast work, you know? And I don't know if I want to gamble that. That is a good point. Your podcast is absolutely important. I apologize for not taking it into consideration. <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Yeah, like, if you have kids, are you going up when you get a toddler or are you waiting until they're out of the house? I don't know. I don't have any kids. I mean, I don't truth be told... But what if you have a girl you love, you got a bouncing little baby Ernie, you know? Truth be told, <laughs> I probably won't be able to go anyways until, you know, because it's probably not going to be cheap enough for me to go until I'm fucking... No, 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 we're not, talking about, we're not talking about fucking that realistic aspect. I mean, you're just... We have to. What do you know mean? they're going to do a Willy Wonka thing. You know they're going to do some Willy Wonka. Oh, okay, you're just saying. Ten, ten, free, tickets, ten free tickets. I bet they do. I bet Musk does some Willy Wonka shit. Ten free tickets to anyone. I would do it, dude. You'd do it? I would I, go. I would bring my kids with me, probably, honestly. Think, no, you can't. It's just you. I'd go. Terrible rules. Just no. you, dude. You gotta well, leave everything behind. Well, I mean, it's something like a... Isn't it something insane? It's like $400,000 per pound to lower Earth orbit. So you can't just throw shit on. Like you can, Everything down to the ounce is calculated. I'm not saying you gotta go live on Mars. I'm saying go up orbit for, what, 30 minutes and come back. That's what I'm saying, dude. Yeah. I would want to stay out there for like a couple hours. Yeah, I'd love to. I would love to go up there and fucking like take some shrooms. Dude, I don't know about shrooms. That would be weird. That would be a lot. That would be. That would be. <laughs> that would be a lot. That might be too much. That might be too much because you think about it, bro. Like, if you start having a bad trip, dude, in space, like, <laughs> dude, dude, like your mind would just literally. <laughs> I think, you would, <laughs> you would go, I think you would go catatonic. I don't think you could move. I think you'd just freeze. Tommy, are you having a good time? <laughs> that would be, I mean, 
Dude. Or, but if what if it's a good trip? You come back and you just never have a bad day for the rest of your life. Dude, you come back and you're just like, you're more enlightened than the damn Dalai Lama. Yeah, you make Buddha look like a fucking asshole. You're just, you're just, you're, you're, yeah. You are the new Buddha. You yeah. are the new Jesus. Yeah. You tell the old Buddha, you're like, go fuck Save Peter. The no, yeah, Buddha goes and fucks Peter. Now it's just you. You come back and you start a religious following. There's statues. It's just like a, a gold, like fat, naked me. A bunch of monks up in Tibet. They're all like the teachings of. And you're like, I know that guy. He's an asshole. He used to drink with them in college. And I'm like, no, brother, I'm changed. And you're like, fuck this guy. Fuck you, Tommy. Fuck this asshole, asshole dude. Fuck this asshole. I got a fight with him at flip flops. No, he's enlightened, brother. Fuck this guy, dude. You went to space, bro. You went to space. I know. I used to. Do you know what I did with this? Do you know what McCormick's is? Jesus Christ. This guy's. And I'm like, I'm like, forgive him, brothers. He knows not what he says. Oh like, my God. I love that. <laughs> I love it. Give it all you got. Give it all you got. I freaked out Jack. Oh, Stevie, too. Both pets oh. went nuts. Sorry, Stevie. Sorry, Jack. Jackie boy, it's fine, guy. I love it. <laughs> like he like woke up and was like, oh. Well, sorry, Jack. That's the hey, yeah. that's, that's the sound of progress, all right? That's the sound of we're getting ready for Space Buddha. What a guy, man. Is that is that I got I got two more minutes with you. Is it is that a form of therapy in the future? Go to space. Thirty. It could be. That would be amazing. I mean, yeah. if, it, if it ever becomes cheap enough, yeah, maybe for fucking like rich assholes. Well, I mean, think about the first flights, and now think about you go get a fucking whatever, like a forty dollar ticket, and there's bathrooms and air conditioning on it. Like, think of how yeah. nice that is. And gravity, because they have they like figured it out. Yeah. Like the centrifuge. No, no, I think that's part of like zero. No, and I'm, I'm talking about flights right now. Think of how rare a flight was, a fucking biplane made out of like canvas and balsa wood. Not even open air. You're just wearing your top hat and your three piece suit like an asshole. And now you can go get a cheap ticket. Wild. You got a seat with a tray and you get pretzels and Diet Pepsi and fucking go take a bathroom break. And it's like nothing. It's $40. I think, yeah, eventually that's what's going to be space flight. You can go up and it's going to be like, can you imagine that this used to be reserved for like the Apollo astronauts and now you're up there? I hope that's the case, dude. I hope that's, I hope, and I hope it's within our lifetimes. I, I really think do. it will be. I think with Moore's Law accelerating gains, I think it will be. I fucking hope so. I would hate to die and not go to space. That would suck. I would hate to die and do nothing but raise this stupid kid. Yeah. Dad? Nothing. <laughs> no. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. I'm just sorry. I'm just doing this ad dad. You wouldn't know, you ungrateful bitch. <laughs> All right. Well, hold me back. You fucking <laughs> hold me back. You might, <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> you must you have a sniper's accuracy at shooting down dreams. Dad, I love it. I wish your mom was still here. But um oh Christ. Yeah, getting a little dark in there, but uh I love it. Get get darker, dude. Turn off all the lights, brother. <laughs> Turn off all the lights, brother. It was a dark Sachi evening. All the windows closed. Turn up to about eighty two. Do you ever watch these down and down? Oh yeah, dude. I said, No, honey, you let him watch. I said, Let the boy let watch. the boy watch. He learns from me the way I learn from my father. He learned from his father. Yes, dude. Let of course. The boy. Wow. Boy, watch. Dude. Wolf a young, man. A young rap. A rap at the door. A young, my young son, Gabriel. All oh, the windows closed. <laughs> <laughs> so much ridiculous shit. But this, awesome. was, this was a fantastic episode, Ernie. I said I would let you go out one hour. Hey, man. I, I can keep talking, I don't, but I know you, I know you got I know you want to watch sports sports sports. Yeah, I gotta I gotta get on the uh, yeah. I, gotta, I gotta get on the tube. Dude. I got this thing I gotta do. Watch. I'm a busy guy. I got this fucking you know. It's I got this fucking kid. No, I'm not busy. I'm not busy at all. Not today. But you know, hey, today's Labor Day. Today's Labor Day. Today's been chill. We get back to work tomorrow. So today's been very relaxed. I've been playing Madden all day. I'm about, all I'm about to. I'm playing Watch Dogs too. I'm about to play it again. I'm I'm just the game where you're supposed to just be hacking shit, but I'm not doing that. I'm just shooting people in the head. I'm just not. Yes. It's it's kind of dark, but I'm. Before you do that, send me that picture of me and the, the cat. I will. I'll send it to you. I'll send it. I to want you. it. I want it. 
I want it bad. I want it now, Tommy. No, dude, I've never legit. I don't have a picture of us like that, and like so that's I like actually really I'm looking forward to having it. It's cool. Maybe if you uh, maybe you could work for it, boy. I reckon. <laughs> Yes, Tommy. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I needed I needed this episode, Ernie. Thank you. Good. I needed it too, I think. Good. I'm glad we both needed it. This is great. It's been uh, good. It's been fun, it's man. But yeah, let me I gotta uh, take the pup out. Yeah. Go watch some sports. Brother, it's always good to see you. Much love. I love you too, buddy. Same. And uh don't be a stranger. Come back sooner than later. We'll do. And uh is it was a panini. Was it was it a, a cat with boot. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Benini? <laughs> Who you calling Turkey? I love it, man. Free Stop. health. Jack Steve Brew. <laughs> well, wine's no fun. And nobody wants to do have anything to do with you. Janice. <laughs> It's the internet. <laughs> the internet. You, you fucking love it. Well, here we go. All right, brother. All right, brother. All right, man. Take it easy. Hey, Cal, if you're yeah. listening, I doubt you are. But Cal, you're coming on next time. Cal, you're coming on. We'll get you on. We'll get him on. All right. Peace, buddy. All right, brother. You're good. <laughs>